I'm a little person. <laughs> and, uh, but I do think ahead. So the, uh, um, it's very, very, very nice to see you all here today. And uh, oh, I've got to <laughs> pull the plug on it. So you're going to get a very, very, very short speech. And then the two... Uh, our two uh, Nobel Prize winners are in there somewhere. <laughs> Andres is there, and Kostya is making his way to the bar. <laughs> <laughs> so, by the way, where's the bar service? Can you please save two bottles? <laughs> they, um, okay. So now the boring bits, okay, which I'll get over very, very, very quickly and so on. So, the, uh, so yesterday was a very special day for, for Andre Gaim and Konstantin Novoselev. I have a bit of a problem with that, Andre. I'm sorry, sorry uh, Constantine. So I prefer Andre and Kostya. So it was also a very special day for physics and astronomy. So um, we're actually surrounded by reminders of, of the history of physics and astronomy uh, here in Manchester. We've got the Rutherford Lecture Theatre there, the Bragg there, the, uh, the Mosley, and the, oh, I'm going to forget the other one. Okay. <laughs> 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 uh, but by the way, that was, that, that was, they said, put a joke in here, okay? So the, um, <laughs> then somewhere we've got Mr. Schuster, of course, uh, um, there. So, um, so there's, uh, I, I looked up today that the last Nobel Prize was, was Blackett, 62 years ago, and uh, he, like um, Andre and Kostya, did the work here, okay? Um, and, uh, and got the Nobel Prize in, uh, uh, in 1948, which was 62 years ago. And um, it's interesting that, uh, sadly, a few years later it went off because Imperial College were in such a mess. Um, <laughs> someone, so the fact is, if you've been to London, you'll find a place called the Blackett Laboratory. Okay, so the, uh, um, but he was he was here first. Um, so in fact, this is this is today is really about uh, um, our two uh, Nobel Prize winners. It's about uh, physics and astronomy. It's about uh, um, all the staff, all the students, the technical staff, the support staff, and so on. We are basically a community. Uh, as far as I know, I'm the only academic manager in, in the building. And, uh, uh, and this is really uh, about us as a community wanting to, to basically congratulate uh, Andre and Kostya for, for the wonderful work that, that they've done, basically. So um, I also wanted to say something which I think is really, really important is that all the young physicists out there, I'm sure you do dream that one day you're going to get a Nobel Prize, okay? <laughs> and if, if you don't, you're a bloody liar, okay? <laughs> um, uh, and basically what this shows is, is that, it, A, it is possible, and more importantly, it's possible in Manchester, okay? <laughs> and uh, so I think that's it. All I want you to do now is to raise your glasses, cheer, Andre and Kostya, well done. I'm sure if you want to give a speech, you're very welcome to. So. <laughs> And I've even got a nice stage for you. I say that uh, the best uh, prepared, uh, the best impromptu is uh, a well prepared one, but I didn't prepare any impromptu for, uh, for, for today. So uh, I'll take, and hopefully Kosti as well, take this uh, Nobel Prize with a pinch of salt, <laughs> <laughs> which, uh, 
which is actually, yeah, we got quite a few prizes before. <laughs> and uh, hopefully we will get a few prizes after. I, for a friend of mine, uh, previous Nobel Prize winner, Klaus von Klitzen, during the last five years, pestered me with the following uh, wisdom. He said, never get your Nobel Prize quick, because I got it within five years. And what I got, I didn't get a Nobel Prize before, uh, I didn't get any prize before the Nobel Prize. And after the Nobel Prize, you don't get any other prize. <laughs> And indeed, for example, I'm no longer eligible for the Kavli Prize oh. in NASA, <laughs> we, which we have missed uh, very narrowly for the last two years and so on. <laughs> and yeah, we know this certainly from the committee members. And, so, and then he said, look at Grimberg. Uh, this is the guy who won the Nobel Prize for giant magnetic resistance. The guys waited for it for 25 years. In the course of it, he grabbed and backed all possible <laughs> prizes. <laughs> uh, and his pot winning, winning pot is something like 10 million. And Klaus what glitz got it within five years, but it was 100,000 Deutschmarks. <laughs> as that time. So, so yeah, he was very disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> so we are. Uh, another pinch of salt that okay, we we know how those Nobel prizes are given. Okay, uh, in. Uh, 1902, one of the first Nobel Prizes was given for what? For automatic beacons. Uh, anyone remember the name of this guy? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> so, I actually was expecting after last year Nobel Prizes, I would be expecting this or next year Nobel Prize for iPod or iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> or something like that. On the other hand, remember Rutherford, okay, his statue is somewhere here, a great guy. Uh, very important discovery. What he was given the Nobel Prize for? He never got the Nobel Prize for the discovery which was here in this department. He discovered this splitting of atoms. He got his Nobel Prize for Poor Rutherford, chemistry. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 yeah, so we, we, we try to take it uh, as easy as possible. It's great for this department. Even with the help of George Osborne, we'll hope that it will be not closed. <laughs> no, a reasonable hope for this, uh, for this. And uh, yeah, let's continue to muddle through uh, trickle. We are all in, and uh, yeah. And thank you very much for being here tonight. <laughs> exposed you to all his wisdom about all the prizes. I, I, I guess I have not much to add, but I just want to correct Steve uh, here today. Uh, it's not about uh, two guys within, within this prize. It's, um, so there is a huge lab over there. Um, that's, I don't know, 20, 30 PhD students and postdocs who've been working extremely hard for the last Seven, seven years, and it's uh, it's actually it's about their achievement plus our collaborators who are here as well, and it was really a fantastic atmosphere in this department, which made which made every day 
extremely enjoyable to, to, to come to lab and, and do experiments and, and do our work. And that's all due to the quite a few Manchester and Montreal and quite a few international students and postdocs which we have in our lab. Thank you very much, guys.